juggling is very good thing yeah, for your body and mind. Coordination of body. For concentration. Some kind of sport which gives also some creativity. I like this uh, kind of uh, uh, working with children. I like uh, and this kind of like uh, humanitarian work a little bit, and also because I, uh, I I've been here four times, but really just I saw Mitrovica and Pristina. I don't know, you know, uh, this part of a country, so I wanted to, to learn a little bit, you know, to see uh, what there is and how the places look like. Because I like to do, uh, you know, in the, um, some places uh, in which there is uh, not so much things happening which are different as juggling, as some subculture things. So for me it's always like um, uh, interesting to go and to show the, some, some things different. The project idea was mainly to work together with some people from Germany and from the region, like from Croatia, Kosovo, Serbia, Macedonia, to make juggling project with social disadvantaged children in uh, Kosovo. When Connie explained me what she's going to do with the kids, I had the idea how can we do that better and uh, which areas are more needed in Kosovo for those kind of special things so let's say juggling entertainment for kids because in those areas which we went and worked were really in bad conditions really bad conditions there were camps enclaves and they haven't had a lot of jugglers or people who can entertain those kids because those kids are really traumatized since after the war i asked valon if he can help with coordination and so in the end we went like around five times to Plementina, three times to Gračanica, two times to Fuskosova and two times to Mitrovica. Where are you guys going today? To, we are in Gračanica. Uh-huh. Yes. Wait. We brought us to Gračanica. This is a Serbian community. In the beginning we came somewhere, we were making a show, so the first week I was working together with Ivana and we make a clown show and juggling show. asked the kids who want to participate in the project and we made groups and then had like four groups a day and um, juggling with balls, juggled with the flower sticks, showed them Diabolo, playing poise and stuff. <laughs> present something uh, in the first moment uh, he thinks it's uh, like I don't know the, there are clubs in the first moment he thinks it's uh, like for fighting or something but uh, when we pre uh, present uh, with this fighting uh, what we do uh, he look like different things di uh, different 
toy. It's not for fighting, it's for, for doing something creative. I mean, last year we didn't have enough, so we didn't have the equipment with us or we didn't find it here. So this year I brought a lot of equipment from Frankfurt because the idea was also not only to teach, but to leave something so they can first learn how to make these things by themselves, but also just to continue with juggling. So in every place to leave some Diabolo, to leave flower sticks, to leave poise and stuff. Mit Ruvica was the most stressful place to work because there was no place where we could work. So we had to work with all the kids coming all together, which is more like chaos. You can more make a show and let them play a little bit, but if they start fighting too much, you just have to stop it. It's going to be hard to make good kids fight. Yeah, this is why we want to better to, to train the older ones and then they can show something to the little ones. Yeah? Because there are so many and there's no organized youth activities, I think. Because somehow they just left us alone with them. <laughs> Try to explain them like, okay, wait, and then after he is doing, you can do it. But no, when I turn back, then they fight and they scream, and so it was very, very hard. Uh, we uh, were doing I brought my computer and the drums and the guitar and we were recording music and they were singing uh, and drumming and playing guitar Roma songs and some Serbian songs and this was very nice. <laughs> Okay, the last date we set up was to do something in the city of Pristina because mainly this last weeks we were around in the villages and enclaves and so there was also the idea to do something in the city here. Our 
also one more thing which is interesting in this kind of project is because Connie is from Germany, from Frankfurt, I'm from Belgrade, from Serbia. Uh, the two of you <laughs> which are making the film are Albanians from Pristina and also Valon who was uh, d uh, doing a lot about organization with these communities. He is also Albanian or Roma, <laughs> I don't know, we didn't discover <laughs> from Pristina and also this kind of uh, cooperation, I'm in cooperation and also we are getting friendly and we are working together. I think also it changed something, you know, also when we come, when we go together in these communities where everybody is divided they also see that we are like together and as the seventy yesterday said they are asking ah you are Albanian ah but she's she from where? she's Serbian when you are together like oh <laughs> something is wrong and uh, like but it is really nice you know then children also see that people are working together maybe it, it is some small thing that also changed something in them we had no problem in none of these communities we had the really success with the community's leaders coordinating and helping us and they brought some assistants who who want to contribute to help us play with the kids too so as a man i mean as my job as manager i, I had a pretty fun time we all are talking about uh, connie and me we're talking and even now so for belgrade want to like uh, to do some projects, we are just thinking maybe to do some camp in the summer camp for um, training people. It could be a, a thing that we could get kids from different areas to make a bigger thing, go on camp somewhere, may invite jugglers from different places, invite some musician, have a stage in that camping place, make performance, juggle at the same time, share different experience. I would like to come, you know, again next year because they are like, oh, come next year again, you know, because everybody, children are really happy because we are there.